McNannan picks up the ball. Can he get to the line? He's nacing for the line. He's looking for support. He hasn't got support. He does well to stay in field. Smith. Cardis misses out uh, Dennis Manan. That's good strong play from Gleason. Tandy flicks the ball out the back, picked up by Smith. Oh, great ball from Smith. Now, Nanin looked a bit forward to me, but it's not given. And Kirk Patrick goes in for the Vikings, despite the ankle tap, which nearly put him into dead. But the Vikings take the lead after four minutes of this game. Good. So McNanin, uh, one of his easier kicks this season. 20 metres off the touchline, just to the left of the posts. High over the stand and out the ground. Thank oh, well spotted by Barry McDermott. The Kiwi almost came off, but uh, <laughs> Paul Gibson, he probably lost a, a few more teeth there. Certainly shaking and rattling about in his head. Oh, but the ball, long ball out. Fans out for the forward pass. Cardis can't get there. Well, it was a well-taken try in the end. The witness fans... Claiming for the pass, but uh, he stood down the Cardis up by coming in field and then. And the kick is successful, so the score's levelled. Tandy feeds Dennis Madan. Oh, a high tackle on Watson, but uh, well, no action taken. Madan, Bezik, oh, great ball, good support from Cassidy, couldn't get the ball out as he turned, took the safety option, I think, wisely. Madan, oh, what a lovely ball, just a little skip, and then the ball into the gap for Ryan Tandy. So McNannan adds the conversion, 12-6 to the Vikings, 15 minutes gone. You can just hear the witness players shouting to each other to calm it down. Madan, oh, good support from uh, Cardis. Scored in the last two games from the Vikings. Nice to see him getting some accolades. Cassidy, great stuff from Mick Cassidy. Back to his best for witness. Oh, what a lovely dummy and a great ball as well. Because for all the world. So Mick Nannin looking to make it 18 6. Well, he takes his time, but he's entitled to. The clock is stopped while he's doing it, and he kicks them like that. Stands firm. But Halifax are pressing hard here. 12 points behind. Brambini probing, but again, the defence holds tight. And the good work by Gleason as well. He came up on the outside to cut off the pass. Oh, great tackle. Well, he's in. It was good work again by Blackwood. Kick goes wide. And stripped. So he's uh, got a plaster on his arm of some sort. Jordan James has. Clough again. Probing from the acting. Or the dummy. Uh, yeah. Acting half back position. Long ball out this time. Blackwood losing it. And Dennis Madan. Well, put down your glasses. Good night, Vienna. Because no one will catch Dennis Madan. The great poacher strikes again. Well, it's a shame for Anthony Blackwood. He's had a really good game so far, but he couldn't hang on to that. So Mick uh, Nanin will take this kick. To make it 24-10, I should say. Every time that Halifax have lost the ball in that situation, the penalty's gone to them. <laughs> oh, that's a great dominant tackle on Damian Ball from Dave Allen. Clough again, he's going across the line. Well, it's so easy. 
Half the line moved up and half didn't. Gleason and uh, Jordan. Well, sex successful conversion makes it 24-16. How a uh, witness? Strong play by the witness standoff. Bezik again misses out Cassidy, trying not to do the obvious. Mark Smith. Smith to Bezik. Bezik's powerful enough to get there from there. Can't get the ball down. Good defence in the end by the Halifax tacklers, Gibson and Clough. Watson, oh, slightly forward, but uh, I think it was only me and everybody else in the ground that saw that. The officials missed it. No mistakes there by McNannan. McDermott, well held by uh, Ian Watson. Slightly too far in front of him, but he managed to keep hold of it. Bezik, oh, great dummy. Now Bezik with many support, and he misses out Dave Allen and gives it to Mark Smith. Great start to the second half, one minute gone. And, and he makes no mistake there, he almost smashes the scoreboard. 30 po 34 points to 16 for witness. 16 against this, it's not a disaster, but I think Steve McCormack uh, will have asked the players to just step up a gear at half time, and they seem to have done that. Smith, oh, high tackle as Kurt Pasick looked to go in for his hat trick. There's a Halifax player down injured also. Watson was well spotted by the fullback Gibson there. Final one, Cassidy at nine. Smith, Milan steps inside. Oh, he was looking for somebody on his shoulder, but he gets the kick into Cardis, and Cardis goes in. Well, was he in an onside position? If I was a Halifax supporter there, I'd be jumping up and down and screaming for the penalty, but I'm not, so I won't. Daniel Cardis scores in his third consecutive game for the Vikings and wins the score. Two tries in four. And that's a great kick from Nanin, 40 points to 16. <laughs> Cassidy, suspicion of a high tackle, certainly the witness fans felt it was high. Cassidy gets up with no complaints though. McDermott. Watson just overshot him and then he took the safety option. Bezik, and again that dummy from Bezik, inside to Smith, and Smith is going to go in under the sticks, but again, Bob Bezik, the create. <laughs> well, Barry McDermott, well, it was a bit of a flapper. It's his last... Well, it may not be his last game at the Holland Stadium, but the fans love that one. John Kirkpatrick has come off, it's a shame that, because I thought Kirkpatrick was having a good game today and uh, maybe looking for this hat-trick, but uh, maybe he just took a slight knock on the calf. I don't think he's got any ice on it yet or anything, but uh, also a chance to give uh, James Coyle a game. And poor old uh, James Healy has sparked out again in exactly the same place that he was before as Barry McDermott goes in. Forces his way over the line. Line. Well, it just pulled away. Can't like shouting instructions on or shouting advice to his players, but the, the defensive line's holding quite well in this half. Good work from Gleason. Slide works well. It's the final one for Halifax. And he juggles with the ball. Puts one high. Well, awkward kick. Oh, Madan's missed it. Bounced over Dennis Madan's head. Well, he was pushed in the back.
Long ball out. Clough. Short ball for Penny. Oh, mile forward. Touch judges never saw it. All the fans saw it, but the touch judges didn't. It's, uh... Well, I don't believe it. They've, they've scored another one. I, I must admit, I can't see from here where they are, what happened in that corner of the gantry, but uh, how? So Dean Lawford, 10 metres from the touch line, slots it over, strokes it comfortably over the sticks since he went to full back not saying it was his fault coil oh good effort from james coil showed the ball went through a gap but i'm looking for a quick play of the ball dummies gets the ball back to coil well coil passed it to summers but summers thought he wasn't going to good step from watson smith Oh, great ball out the back from John James, and Bob Bezik's going to go in. Super finish. In fact, it was Dian Tandy. He was hit as soon as he took that ball. But as he went down, he just flicked it up the back. And Bob Bezik, well, uh, crowns an excellent performance with a try. I wouldn't be surprised, personally, if Bob Bezik was still here next season. And that's not because I've heard anything, not because I know anything. But I just wouldn't be surprised. Great work from Dave Allen. Uh, he worked hard to get to the tackle and then even harder to make it. Well, Watson was being held as he tried to get to that tackle and uh, Lawford split the witness defence. And uh, Damian Ball goes in at the corner. On the bench because he's had a massive impact and a great input into this game and he adds the conversion as well. McNannan takes the tap and feeds Ryan Tandy. McDermott throws a dummy, still gets the ball back to Mark Smith. Long ball out, that's a good ball from Smith. Coyle, Dennis Madan at pace to Gleason. Gleason dummies, oh, well, did it go backwards? Well, it must have done. I'd be dubious about that one. Looks as if it went forward to me. But Damian Blanche goes in at the corner for the Vikings. Two, Seven minutes to score the try himself. It'll be a rare event if he doesn't score in the game. Oh, that's a great kick from Mick. Three thousand seven hundred and eighty-nine attendance, and the man of the match. Well, the man of the match uh, award has been given to Dave Allen. Uh, oh, great take from Carl! It was behind him. Watson runs at the line. Good dummy from Coyle, and McDermott goes in for his second of the game. James Coyle just steps over the ball, and Barry McDermott picks up and forces his way over, rugby union style. It should make it 70 points to 34. <laughs> Successful conversion, McNannan, the genuine man of the match. That's just my opinion. I certainly would... Uh, Give it to Bob Bezik, I think, this afternoon. Mark Smith, McDermott, he's looking for the hat trick, but he gives the ball away. Smith, Tandy took it well because it was nearly intercepted. I don't believe it. Well, the other props flying down the wing now. And Ryan Tandy goes 70 metres, 80 metres there, sprinting down the wing like Martin Afire to get hit.